Hi and welcome to another episode of Perth Man Shootouts. My name is Perth. Today the studio got a little cramped. It's because we brought in a different drum set. It's a Brady Jarrow drum set, a really, really nice sounding drum set. And the reason why I had it in is because we're going to be testing drum heads today. Drummers out there who are in the shop trying to look for drum heads don't really know what to pick because they've never really had a chance to hear this guy and this guy side by side in a very clear, controlled recording environment. So that's what we're going to demystify today, the difference. If it is too obvious or not obvious at all, uh, we'll find out later. Anyway, I'd like to thank Rewell Vistal for coming in and doing this show. Uh, he's a really awesome live and studio musician so if you you want him to do some of your tracks just uh, contact him in, in our description below and I want to make it clear I'm not endorsing any brand in this show but I would love to if I could so anyway um, enjoy Very well, thank you Hi. for coming. Um, this is the question and answer round. Right. I hope you're ready. <laughs> Can you give me the tonal characteristics of each drum head? So let's go with the quoted first. The attack is more defined, the sound is more round and warm. Which yeah. is a little bit more blunt, like a baseball bat hitting hitting a pillow or something. Like it's it's fat deep has more bass frequencies in it, right? Yeah, yeah. As for the clear, the attack is very open and the sound is more bright and the resonance or the sustain is i think a little longer than it's it's more of a sharp yeah. piercing sound yeah. second is uh this is quite easy because but this is also very subjective yeah, yeah. for rock music which kind of head would you prefer oh my snares i use uh coated clear heads on toms are more versatile than okay, a coated one. For rock music, we're looking for the clarity of yeah. each head, right? Yeah. The notes of each All head right. has to be very clear. For clear drum heads, uh, that, that's more obvious because it's more of a transient, clicky attack, right? The resonance is a bit longer and the sound is more open. Like, as for the coated, it's more of the Come on, you can, you, can, you can make that sound though. Yeah, that, Try to make that. Unlike for, the, <laughs> okay. unlike for the coated one, like you get a, a boom, like a boom sound. Yeah, so. so when I hit a clear drum hit, what sound does it make? 
bong or like something like okay. that. How about uh, coated so drum? Like, so, how about for like, um, let's say blues music or jazz? TV for or? jazz, I think they use coated. Especially for, uh, well also for Latin. I notice in jazz it's more dynamic. The yeah. playing is, it sometimes you hit it uh, quiet and sometimes you hit really hard. Uh, for rock music, you always hit it hard, right? Yeah, so, I guess. So yeah. maybe there's a reason why yeah. coat, coated sound better when you hit it with dynamics. Yeah, right? I, I guess. For R&Bs too, I, I think I, I noticed that most of them for the snare they use coated. Yeah. For the toms, they still use snare. So on a coated uh, drum head, regardless of your hit, softer or or louder, it's still defined. Unlike for the clear one, when you hit it a bit not that loud. All you hear is overtone yeah. and ring. Yeah. Right? Ooh, ooh. Yeah. You don't really hear the. <laughs> yeah, you don't exactly. hear the Actual note, yeah. right? So for my third question, uh, which is easier to tune? Well, based on my experience, coated or easier to tune? Which stays in tune longer? Based on my experience, okay. I guess coated ones have the ability to last. I don't know, I guess drummers, they usually hit uh, clear ones more okay. than the coated ones since the coated ones are more defined. So you don't have to really hit it hard, hit it hard to, for your notes to be defined, okay. unlike for the clear, since, you know, yeah, 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 so. yeah, okay, okay, I understand, I understand. Do you understand? Let's talk about muffling. Muffling is like putting some tape on top of the head to kill the overtone, yeah. right? I have some examples of muffled drum heads here. This is a kick drum head. It's the Remo Power Sonic. See, it, 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 has a, it has some foam on it. Yeah. It has some foam which already muffles the head, but it also adds like, like some some pads just to muffle it even more I think they, they do this because you want to kill the overtones yeah. right so there's like it, it's like being punched in the face right? <laughs> there's no yeah. ring no nothing mm -hmm. no tone I've seen drummers who just muffle everything like put tape yeah, on yeah, top of yeah. everything and they just want to hear the attack they don't yeah. want to hear any tone yeah so that's preferable for for, for clear, I guess, because when they muffle, they want to kill the overtone and to define the attack more, which uh, the coated already has. Let's talk about live in studio drum heads. For live uh, gigs, what would you use? For me, I think uh, either, but for the snare, definitely I'll use uh, coated uh, live in recording. For the toms, I use clear. For recording, I suggest using a clear drum head because uh, I think it's more versatile than coated on the toms. Clear Play, plays a wide variety of music than coated on the toms. How about the kick drum? For the bass drum, definitely for me, I'll use uh, clear. To get the attack, huh? Yeah. Alright, so basically there's no difference for you in, in live in studio because this is really your configuration now. Yeah. Coated snare, clear toms, and clear kick. Yeah, yeah. Since um, drum heads wear out, mm -hmm. right? And it's not that cheap. I think our viewers would want to know which, which, which type of drum head lasts longer. A big factor would be how you play. Because if you play loud all the time, you play without any regard for the head. Any drum head, regardless of coated and clear, it would probably wear out fast. But based on my experience, clear ones last a little longer than the coated ones. I don't know why. When I notice same type of playing, I usually get more dense easily on the coated ones than the clear ones and also the coating wears off right when yeah hit, the paint yeah. wears off and and it's it sounds different it ages right like yeah. symbols it yeah. ages it loses its brilliance uh -huh. it, it turns yellow or something yeah. does that does that actually have an effect the drum head I'm... like an old coated drum head does it sound Better? Sometimes it does. I have tried a, a very old coated drum head. It sounded nice when it's a bit old, but when you lose the coating already, it sounds it kind of sounds funny and it it, uh, it loses the point of being a coated drum head. Unlike for the clear one, there's no coating to wear off, so uh, it's consistent. Yeah, it's more consistent. Old. Exactly. So okay, I think that's about it. Thank yeah. you, thank you, Ryu. Thanks no for coming. Yes. Hey, I want to jam with you with yes. my sim basic drum skills. Yes, so, let's do this. Le le since we have two drum sets here in the studio, let's let's try and doing a, a cheap collab. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> All right, let's do it.